with caution. My fellow drunken fighters, and welcome to the most famous tale in the Jamie Discord, an accidental discovery that made it legendary. Once upon a time, there were a couple of Jamie players hanging out in Discord, trying to find the most goofy stuff they could get a save jump from. From drive impact to the weirdest driver's juggles, anything to get another save jump was the goal. Suddenly, a man named Davian tried to do Tensei kick into 5 HP, and by only hitting the first hit of 5 HP, he looked over at the frame meter and that's when he saw it. 42 frames. There it was. It worked mid-screen. It worked anywhere on the map. And more importantly, it could cross up as well. That was two no, hits. No, no. That's two hits. 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 There you that's go. Now it works. That's 42. There you go. Okay. Only the second hit. You, you see the second hit of 5 AP hit? Then it's good. There you go. Joy and laughter filled the room. Another stupid save jump discovered, but it had to be given a name. The breedable jump, Buster said. Another Jamie scrub. <laughs> Just kidding about that one. But it's still funny. And after a bit of brainstorming, they found it. A bit more socially accepted. The bread jump. Davian later discovered the Momochi combo, where the sequence is very strict to get 5 HP into 2 HK. Could now be backed up though, with an option select, the bread jump. Now Jamie players no longer had to worry if they messed up the Momochi combo, because they would know they could get a safe jump for their troubles. Alright, so here we are in training room. Now, I've mentioned Momochi combo so many times, so I'm just going to show you guys how you can utilize this bread jump into the Momochi combo. I'm gonna show you guys how to, to do this, how this works. Uh, it's pretty simple actually, so it just it's an option select where you if you are too early with doing 5 HP after your juggle You can actually get a save jump out of it And if you don't well, you can get the regular 5 HP double hit and you're gonna get the juggle with sweep so There's the regular one with sweep no problem There you go. And if you do it too early, you're gonna get a 42 frame advantage. Now I have to tell you guys that, um, you know, it's 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 a very fun tech and it's hilarious in the way it works. Um, it works in its own way. So if you do like, um, it's it's more reliable when you do that. That's the first hit. 42 frames guaranteed. However, if you do this from the Momochi combo with jumping heavy kick included. There's going to be a lot of times. There it is. So there's 42 frames. That's perfect, you know. I'm just showing you the raw recording. 44. So that's right. This is like the second time. There we get the regular one. That's perfect. That's what we want actually. Another 44. Forty-four. So you can see that most of the time I'm actually getting um, 44 frames instead of 42 frames to get the juggle. And I'm actually trying to mistime this a lot. There it is, 44 again. Um, so in that regard, it is not reliable using it as an option select for the Momochi combo. But sometimes that could be the case. Now, I hope you guys learned a little bit about this uh, goofy option select. I've got to be come clean with you guys, like I said before. I, I I am not going to utilize this because the chances of getting 44 frame advantage and your save jump not working at all is higher than actually getting the 42 frame from uh, from the Momochi combo. Uh, that's that has to do with the jumping heavy kick timing. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to utilize this. It just it's it's way better for you guys to just learn the actual Momochi combo and. Yeah, so you can actually get that drink level, get that corner carry. That's what you want. That's what you want to have. As time flew by, more Jamie players started to experiment with the bread jump. And a new route was discovered from SA3, which was also done 
mid-screen. Oh my god. Bro. Yo, give me the give me the footage. Alright, here we are once again. Training room caution at your servers. So here is the pretty much the same um the bread jump for SA3. Um, now I showed this route before in one of my earlier videos, so I'm gonna show it again how it's usually normally done. You do that, 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 that. Into heavy kick Bakai. Really good corner carry, pretty good damage as well. This was just from a raw critical art, uh, raw level three, excuse me. Uh, no, no damage before that. Um, but what you do is instead of going for the Bakai, that that's the only thing you do. You just don't go for the Bakai, and watch the frame data. Look at that! You get 42 frames. And this one is very reliable. This one is consistent. So from there on out, they would actually do... Let's say they do recovery in place. Let's go for OD Shoryuken. Oh my god! Oh my god! We got it. So yeah, this one is consistent. This one is reliable. So yeah, just follow these steps if you want to go for the reset. All right. Well, that was it for the SA3 routes. And now over to you, storytelling caution. Davejin was now known as the breedable Davejin, a legend among some, whose profile picture will always be remembered as the man behind the bread jump. Thank you for listening to the Tales of Jamie from the Discord. My name is Caution, don't forget, as usual, to stay cautious, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. This video was sponsored by Devin.